Yo, what's Big Jen? It's your boy T.R. Boog, a.k.a. Stunner Man, the biggest P. And we are major money. And we just jumped out the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. You did. All right, so we got my boys at Major Money Entertainment jumping off the porch with us today. Welcome, guys. What's good? What's Appreciate good? Yeah, welcome, guys. How we feeling today? Feeling good, good man. We, we here. We here. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, man. Um, so you guys want to go ahead and uh, introduce, introduce yourselves uh, individually here in the front? All right, that's cool. All right, I go by the name of Big Jen, straight out of Charlotte 704. You know what I'm saying? Major Money represent. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yep. It's your boy TRF Boog, aka Stunner Man, aka the biggest motherfucking P. You know what I'm saying? All the way from 317 downtown. You know what I'm saying? Major Money Entertainment, TRF, the motherfucking family forever. For sure, man. And you guys want to introduce everyone else sitting up there, too? Yeah, man, I got this my bro, T Jr., from childhood. This my boy, J Bull, from childhood. I got my boy, Matiago, my engineer. Okay. Yeah. And what about him sitting up here too? You know who this is, man. You know what I'm saying? The man that make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Big CEO. Big CEO. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. Major money himself. Good show, man. So what bring you guys to Atlanta, man? What else are we working on while we in the city then? Uh, right now, uh, we focus on um, getting a lot of content. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, po posting the brand around, you know what I'm saying? Marketing yeah. the brand and uh, marketing our new songs and stuff that's coming out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we just... Uh, we just did some promo stuff earlier. Um, one of my singles, I'm dropping this here in the next month. Um, coming off my mixtape, my new mixtape that's coming out this year, uh, Me Vs. Me. So we just down here, you know, moving around, moving and shaking, getting shit done, you feel me? So it's that type of time. Oh, absolutely, Working. Man. Yeah. It's, Working. Always. This Atlanta, man. You can go no. down the street to get some content films. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. Ain't no telling who you're going to run into. I'm telling you, know, you man. man. We've been getting a lot of love down here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. That's why I love I love Atlanta, man. It's all love every time we step out. Absolutely, man. So, you know, I just found out you guys are from different cities, though, right? Yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep, okay. So, Boogie, you're from Indianapolis? Yeah. Okay. So, talk about that, man. Like, talk about coming up in the city and what be going on in Indianapolis these days, man. Shit, I mean... I feel like everywhere kind of the same, you know what I'm saying, when you come from a certain environment, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of the same. Like, I feel like if you ask him, it's going to be the same, like a lot of similarities, you know what I'm saying, coming from the hood, you know what I'm saying, trying to get up out of there, you know what I'm saying, trying to make the situation better, you know, yeah. whatever you got to do to get up out of that situation. Um, other than that, shit, it's, regular, it's a regular ass city. I mean, it's a lot of, it's a big, like, racing city, you know, mm -hmm. like the Indy 500 is there. Um, the Pacers there, the Colts. So, I mean, they got like some, you know, mainstream shit to do, but I mean, it's just a regular ass city, really. It's okay. in the Midwest, a little blue collar city, you know, yeah. that type of town. So, how'd you lock in with all these boys from North Carolina then? What's the connection there? So, what's crazy is 2022, uh, my boy Steven the Dream, him and uh, 20, they was doing like these Instagram live, like reviews and shit. Mm -hmm. and somebody had sent it to me and was like, send your shit in. Um, and when I sent it in, uh, I had played a song for him, and Steven was like, shit, send some more shit in. Like, I, I like this one, like this one hard. Send another song in. So I sent another song in, and then he was like, bro, I'm finna hit you, like, we gotta work. So I flew out <coughs> to Charlotte that summer, like, I think it was like June or July, and I had a session um, at one of the studios out there, and that was when I met uh, Doe, and that was like, from that, from that point, it was just kind of like, okay, I'm keeping my eye on you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna just see what you're doing, you know, that kind of thing. And then, shit, a year later, me and I was on the phone, and he was like, let's make it happen. Like, you know, you that want. So it was, it was really, it was easy money after that. Okay. Major money. Yeah, I'm sure that was pretty motivating to you too, man. No yeah, people nah, fuck like, with you like that. At that time, it was like, you know, I was coming off like a, a little stretch where like, I was kind of doing shit on my own, but like, shit wasn't connected how I wanted it to. And I felt like, I would I should have had like you know a little more momentum, you know than I did, and so like that trip to Charlotte kind of changed everything. Like I always say, like that studio session at, at uh, the studio that day, like changed my whole like trajectory for my career. Like so, that was big motivation for me. Yeah. Like put the battery in my back. Yeah, and it kind of shows you like your hometown may not be showing you the yeah. love that you think you're going to get, yeah. but shit, if you tap into the right markets, they're going to show you hella love. Oh, hell yeah. Like, that's, that's, that's the sad part, though. Like, you would think, like, you know what I'm saying, you got to tap in with your city first mm -hmm. to get that love. But, like, you know, I know a lot of, like, a lot of artists from Indianapolis probably got the same sentiment. Like, 
it just take longer for people. Like we ain't got nobody on no mainstream, like major record deal, nothing like that. So I'm trying to be the first one. So yeah. it's just like, I feel like they got to support the local artists and the people that's from there and help push them up. You know what I'm saying? Like you look at a city like Atlanta, Chicago, you know, Houston, all them big cities that got music scenes. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? They behind the artist that's going. Yeah. And it just take time, like, but they ain't caught on yet. But they gonna have to catch on here soon, cause you know we putting that shit in their face every time. No, absolutely. Man. Yeah. yeah. So Jim, right. man, Charlotte, North That's Carolina, bro. <laughs> Fill us in, man. What, 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 what's going on up there these days, bro? All right, man. So Charlotte, man, I'm from the west side of Charlotte, man. West Boulevard, to be exact. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I got a little cloud on my city, man. You know what I'm saying? So I move around every day. I mean, it's a lot of shit to do down there, though, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of ways to get yourself out there, man. You just got to be motivated, yeah. and you got to put yourself out there, man. You got to keep going hard. You know what I'm saying? So can't just be sitting around thinking somebody just gonna got down. Oh yeah, boy, he hard. Nah, you gotta show him. You gotta show him you hard. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, it's, it get wicked down there, though. You know what I'm saying? It get real rough down there. So, you know what I'm saying? But as far as now, I'm just focused on this music. You know what I'm saying? Staying out the way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'll do it. Yeah, you're an artist with a, a crazy backstory. Oh, yeah, too, man. man. So, yep. Yep. let's kind of talk about that, <laughs> though, man. So, we can uh, talk about it with, you know what I'm saying, in and out, in and out of it. What's up? Let's yeah. go. Uh, talk about your older brother, though. My big that, brother? Okay, so. How he got pa how he passed away from the police. All right, so I um I grew up with a family of six, you know what I'm saying? My mom had three boys, three girls. So, uh, my big brother, um, he was 16 when he got killed by the police. Shit, my big brother used to always got down you hot shit, you know what I'm saying? So I guess they finally caught up to him or some shit, you know what I'm saying? He was doing some shit he ain't had no business doing or whatever, but they still unlawfully shot my brother, though, you know what I'm saying? My brother got shot in the back, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. No justice was served, none of that shit. So I'm 13 at the time, so that was my role model, you know what I'm saying? That's who I looked up to. So with him being gone, it just, it kind of clicked something in my head, like, nigga, go hard, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Go hard or goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Don't do it at all. So I just started, you know what I'm saying, getting into that life. I've I been off the porch doing shit, but when my brother died, it was just like I was just off the, I was a loose cannon, you know what I'm saying? So had my first daughter at 16, you know oh, what I'm wow. saying? That kind of slowed me down a little bit. But uh, it slowed me down, but it made me go harder a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's how it go from there. And then, you know, just keep going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And you had to sit down for a couple of years while you fought yeah. some shit too, right? So, okay, um, I say about, 19, 20 years old, shit, I got locked up for, you know what I'm saying, a double homicide, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. I sat downtown for two years, you know what I'm saying? Um, basically, it was nothing there to basically just place me there, so they had to let me go. Basically, I uh, bonded, they finally gave me a bond after 18 months. 18 months? Yeah, $250,000 bond, shit. My mama came and got me, you know what I'm saying? So I told them I wanted to go to trial because I wasn't taking no pleas, you know what I'm saying? I knew I had them because they, they, you know what I'm saying, they like 13 years. 13 years for a double? I said, nah, I ain't taking that. We're going to trial, you know what I'm saying? Bonded out, got them, I came home 2017, got them, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm on 24 hour house arrest, but I can work a job, so I'm working like a motherfucker, stacking my bread, you know what I'm saying? So one day, got them, my, my trial date coming up, 2018, I'll never forget, in October. My lawyer called me, he's like, hey man, you sitting down? I said, nah, what's up, what's good? He said, man, um, I see, I, he said, I need you to sit down right quick. I said, man, what's up, man? Talk to me. You know what I'm saying? So I thought you should be bad news. No, nah, I, 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 hey, look, down. hey, I knew it was good news because he told me to sit down. So you telling me to sit down. Nigga, what you, what you, you know what I'm saying? So he like, man, they um, they gonna dismiss the case, man. It's um, nothing placing you there. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So, shit, I say for real. I'm talking about, man. I just went outside and went crazy. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I called him. I'm like, shit. When I'm getting this bracelet off my leg, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to get to it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how it been. Ever since then, I just been going hard, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's my motivation to keep going because, like I say, your life will be gone like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to take advantage of that shit, man. Yeah. For real. That yeah. jail shit. That shit out the door, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to live that life no more. I done did that. You feel me? I'm outside. This music. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get this money. You feel me? Major sure. money. Yeah, for <laughs> for sure. real though. Yeah, okay. I'm sure you kind of probably felt like, man, this is my second chance of life. I hey, can't yeah, fuck yeah. this man, up. Hey, man. look, I'm trying to tell you, man, and, and like I say, I got four kids, man. So you know what Ooh. I'm saying? That shit, that shit got them a real big impact on them. So I had to come out and, and make sure they straight. So that's what I, that's what I do it for. You feel me? Yeah, I agree, man. So uh, what got what got you guys into rapping at first? Like we can start with your book. Like what kind of inspired and motivated you? Oh. Uh, Shit, really, it was just like, I kind of always been into music, you know what I'm saying? Like, I played instruments and shit when I was a kid, but, you know, um, 
as far as like the vocal side of it, like put myself on, on, on record and all that stuff like that, it really was, it wasn't like no big inspiration or nothing like that. I just was listening to music all during COVID. Like, you know, we was in the crib, like yeah. I don't know what. So it was really just like, all right, shit, let me try something. Like, let me see if I could try it. You know what I'm saying? See how it sounds. I tried it, sent it to a couple of my partners and then they was like, that shit hard. Like, keep keep making songs, like, you know what I'm saying? And so then I started like, you know, investing in myself, like going to the studio, meeting different people and everybody kind of had the same reaction. Like, this shit fire. Like, you, you got something, like you, you you that one. So that's really how it was for me. Like, just trial and error and that shit worked. Okay. Yeah. So you kind of took it serious right away then, huh? Yeah, I mean, like 2020, I was kind of just like in my room. I had like a little at home studio set up. I had bought that bitch. And then I was just in my room fucking around. I never had really put nothing out or like promoted it or nothing like that. And I would just send it to my partners and shit. And so then 2021, I dropped my first song, uh, Chase the Bag, and did a video for that one. And then like, that shit caught like instant. Hmm. Everybody was like, this shit hard, bro. Like, keep going. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And Jim, what about you, man? How'd you get into this shit, man? What inspired you, motivated you to get into it? What inspired me and motivated me? All right, I've been doing it since I was about 11 or 12. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So um, I always wanted to do it, but I ain't never really had the money for it. So I ain't gonna lie, I started buying my own studio shit. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I started with, with my boy right here. You know what I'm saying? We, we started in the house, like, just. You know what I'm saying? On a regular computer, sometimes a mic like this right here. That's you know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> so goddamn. Um, um, and then I was I was motivated, but at the same time, I was still kind of fucked up about other shit. So I wasn't really too decided. But it's like once I came home and then really started to, to see what it could do, I just got more motivated. You know what I'm saying? So I always wanted it. I always been doing music. I always been around music. You know what I'm saying? So I've been rapping, like I say, since 12. So. I've been, you know what I'm saying, going hard with it. I, I just told myself I can't give up, you know what I'm saying? If I want it, I gotta grab it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Can't stop, you know what I'm saying? I used to get discouraged and, and stop, you know what I'm saying? But now it's just like I'm back to back with it, back okay. to back every time, you know what I'm saying? So that's how you gotta keep, yeah. keep it hot on it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight <laughs> like that. And how'd you link up with Major Money Entertainment then? Shit, how I met with him? Shit, I met Troy, what? What the first time we met? Who was that, the studio? Yeah. The studio, yo, we was at the studio. Um, my little brother, dude, I called my little brother, man. He uh, brought him up there to the studio, you know what I'm saying? Listen to me, so boom, okay. He gave me some feedback. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hear from him for a little while, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, man, what the fuck? God damn, he need to be back, you know what I'm saying? So one day, you know what I'm saying? I'm just online, you know what I'm saying? Posting back to back. Something just told me, keep posting, keep posting, because I, I wasn't really putting my stuff out there, like I say, but I started doing videos, you know what I'm saying? Like little promo videos and everything. I just started promoting every day and every day. And then that's when he hit me, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm, I'm looking at first I had to look past the message. I'm like, man, I don't even know who that is. You know what I'm saying? Then I look back, I'm like, oh shit, that's got them try. I got them and there it go from right there. You know what I'm saying? He say, you putting in work, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? And, and here we is right here. We get it. You know what I'm saying? Hard work. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. Yeah. And what you guys create a process? Uh, like when you're cooking up, let me start with you, book. Oh, uh, creative process. Really, I just got to hear the beats. Like, I get the studio. Shit, I have whoever the producer is in there that day. Or well, sometimes I might go in there with like a beat that I already got, like some wrote too. But like a lot of the times, you know, I just listen to the beats and then I sit there, write some, you know what I'm saying? Have some drink in there, you know, with alcohol, crown, you know what I'm saying? Get off of the vibes, you know what I'm saying? So that's real simple. I ain't really too difficult, you know? Um, and then shit from there, we just, you know, tap me in there. You know, the memories, the, the, the emotions, you know what I'm saying, the feelings, all that stuff like that. And I think that show with my music, like, I got a lot of different sounds, a lot of different vibes with my songs and my music. So um, they kind of reflect my creative process. It ain't really like a set, like, we going in there and we need, you know, all this shit up before we get to the rapping, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's whatever the vibes is that day, however I'm feeling, that's what you're going to get on the song. Like, it's simple. Yeah. So would you say it's therapeutic then recording music for yourself? Yeah, yeah. Then? Hell yeah. Like, just shit like, you know, reflecting, you know what I'm saying? Like, alcohol, you know, that brain got a lot of <laughs> thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, emotions, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just one of them things like being able to tap into that. I feel like that's a gift, you know, that I got, like, just being able to relate, you know, make relatable music, shit that people can feel, people can hear it, and they don't really hear it, they feel it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's just a different, it's a different, you know, type of vibe when you hear my music. So, yeah. 
I dig that. What about you, Jim? All right, so my creative process, as far as, you know what I'm saying, doing some music, I just, I go in the studio, man. I have my beats already, you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of 10, I ain't even got my shit wrote, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I go in there, you know what I'm saying? I roll my weed, you know what I'm saying? Sit back. I don't really write too much, so you know what I'm saying? I'll just go straight in and punch in. So okay. if the beat got down, however the beat going, that's that's how I'm going, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's how I'm flowing. However I'm feeling that day, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm versatile though, so you know what I'm saying? I make anything, you know what I'm saying? Not just one type of thing. So if I'm like, like my granny just passed recently, you know what I'm saying? So one day I might be in the mood where I wanna, you know what I'm saying, make some sentimental type stuff just to get it off my chest. That's the way I vent. Instead of talking to people, I'm, I'm just go straight to the studio. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I pull my soul out on that mic, you feel me? Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? That's how I just give it all, give it my all, and shit, that's how I do it. You know what I'm saying? I dig it, Every man. time, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, therapeutic, though, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. Because, yeah, the mic ain't going to talk back no, to you. Man. <laughs> you can go ahead and just <laughs> let that listen. shit out. Yeah, not have to worry about being judged by, by yeah, the mic, yeah. you know? Most Best done. listener you can have, for real. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so what would you guys say are like, some of the biggest challenges you guys faced on this music journey so far, man? Let's start with your book. Uh, biggest challenges, really just like, just keeping that like self-belief, cause like I ain't gonna lie, if you don't believe in yourself 115 percent every time you go in that studio, or when you get on stage, or when you, you know, what I'm saying doing interviews, or you know, what I'm saying you just in front of the camera, mm -hmm. um, ain't nobody else gonna believe you. You feel me? Like the shit with this music shit, like it's it's about authenticity. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what's selling now. So it's like my biggest thing early on, I don't got that problem as much now. Cause like, you know, I didn't kind of came into my own as, as an artist, but like early on, it was like, you know, putting music out. And like I said, it was, it wasn't like a lack of support. Cause like the people around me were supporting, but it was just like, you know, that thought process, like, bro, my shit supposed to be out of here already. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you had that feeling as an artist. Like you feel like you, you know, that competitive side is like, I'm the best motherfucker doing this shit. So it ain't really no reason why I should still be here. You know what I'm saying? So that overcoming that and like that kind of bring down your confidence a little bit at times. Like you'll be thinking, just getting in your head. So getting out of your own way, bro, and just being like, you know what, well, fuck it, I'm just keep pressing this shit. You feel me? Keep putting this shit in their face. You know what I'm saying? I'm making no no second guesses, no no questioning nothing. Like just mm -hmm. go. You feel me? Like that's that's probably the biggest obstacle that I feel like I had as an artist when I first started rapping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that confidence will take you a long way, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. If you believe in yourself, man, it's gonna kinda man. push something else out of you. Like, yeah, damn. yeah, yeah. You might say some you might say something that might not even make sense, but just the way you said it, hmm. like people gonna hear it and be like, I like that. Like, you might say some shit that, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know what you said. And you come back to it, you be like, what the fuck I said? Like somebody say something to you, you recite like one of your words and you be like, yeah. when I say that, and then it just but it's, it resonates with everybody else because how you said the shit, you feel me? So yeah, that confidence is everything. Cause it, it, it bleed through the mic. You can't fake that shit. Nah, real shit. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> All right, so uh, me, mine was uh, really just getting myself out there more. You know what I'm saying? Um, instead of just making music and not doing nothing with it. You know what I'm saying? I always was making songs out of songs out of songs out of songs, but you know what I'm saying? Nobody was really hearing it cause I wasn't dropping it. So I feel like that was a challenge for me to actually, cause, cause at, the, at the time I was recording myself. So it was kind of hard for me to record this shit and then put it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just told myself, invest in yourself, you know what I'm saying? Go to the studio and let them record you and then put your shit out, you know what I'm saying? Yourself like that. So that was my biggest challenge right there, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was like, man, I ain't going to no studio, pay for no studio time, man. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't doing that, I ain't doing that. But I was like, shit, if you don't invest in yourself, why you think somebody else gonna want to invest in you? So I was just like, shit, let me go down, take it up a notch. And yeah. ever since then, it's like, I just, my shit just been going better, getting better and better, you know what I'm saying? So, cause it's the vibe in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Anytime you go to a big studio, it's always gonna be a vibe versus mm -hmm. being at the house. I still get a vibe at the house because I'm, I ain't on no time frame, but mm -hmm. going there is, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's motivation and it's, it's gonna make you wanna keep on, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that was my biggest, uh, Not was, real you know what I'm going up, y'all, most of Do you guys prefer to record, like have a lot of people around you when you're recording or prefer to record by yourself or? It don't matter it on what I'm doing. Yeah. It really depends on what I'm doing. Like, like I said, if I'm in there and I'm, you know, it's a bad day, like, and I'm trying to get some, you know, some therapy out, you know what I'm saying, get some shit off my chest, make more of a melodic song, more like emotion stricken song. Mm -hmm. I'm like, nah, I don't, I'm gonna just go to the studio by myself. I ain't gonna tell nobody. Mm -hmm. But like, if I'm making some turn shit, like I need, it, I think that feedback is good though. Oh, like absolutely. when you're making yeah. like some turn shit, like you trying to make a club record, you gotta have like some vibes in the studio 
know what I'm saying? You gotta have your people in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Let you know, like, all right, you can, and you ain't gotta ask them, like, you feel me? Like, it you could just see it. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. when you start, when, they, when you finish that record, you walk out that booth and you play that record back, you start seeing everybody in that bitch and they, like, you know what I'm saying, nodding their head and shit like that, like, that's gonna tell you everything you need to know right there. Like, so it just depends on, like, the vibe of the song, like, you feel me? For me, at least. Yeah. Shit, with me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, every time I go, I call at least two, three people, you know what I'm saying? Come in that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Cause I want my niggas to keep it real with me. Like if it's if it's not it, then you know what I'm saying? Or if, if I fuck up on the bar or something, I might I might ask my boy, like, bro, damn, I'm stuck right quick. Come here right quick, holler at me. You know what I'm saying? So that's that that it helps me, you know what I'm saying, to have my people around me because I know I got somebody rooting for me. And I know I got somebody who would uh, who gonna be honest with me, you know what I'm saying? Versus a motherfucker telling me, yo, bro, that sound good. The whole time that shit might be trash in a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Even even with my boy right here, he engineered me. So, you know what I'm saying? He even, like, nah, bro, that ain't, that ain't it right there, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you need people yo, on the team I'm like telling that. Too, so, yo. you know what I'm saying? It makes sense. So, yo, that motivation, man. You know <laughs> hey, you'll just turn the beat off like that. I'm bro. trying to tell you. <laughs> For real, man. You gotta have that vibe, though, man. For real, though. And anytime I go to his studio, it's always a vibe, though, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, that's just how it go, straight like that. Yo. I feel it, man. Hey, yo. And how would you guys say like your music has evolved over the last few years then? Um, evolved, I feel like, I feel like I didn't evolve as a rapper. Like I feel like my melodies and stuff is always there, like the melodic sound was always there. I feel like honestly, like I'm, I'm making my best music right now, but I felt like I was more like carefree with the melodies and stuff when I first started because I didn't have like, I didn't have no thoughts of what it was supposed to sound like or what I would sound like, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, shit, I'm just trying anything. Like I was doing songs, I was doing falsettos and shit like that. Like <laughs> I was doing anything and everything if it sounded good. So like, but like now I feel like my, my writing it got better. You know what I'm saying? My beat selection it got better. Um, shit, my bars then got better. I, I, I did a freestyle not too long ago. Um, and like when I posted it, it was, it was a bunch of people hit me like, Bro, you said this shit like I had said a boy like uh, he don't want to award uh, some some you know he don't want to award this nigga body something like that and I like hell of people was catching that boy like the Draymond Green he a defender like or I knew he was gonna get fried by some chicken tender it's like just shit like that like just little shit like that just being able to have that wordplay like I feel like I ain't had that like two three years ago when I first started like now it's like it's clicking like it come to me naturally like, I don't even gotta think about it it's just like okay. All that shit just coming together. So I feel like I done got more fluent with it and more comfortable yeah. just recording and, and just pushing the, the the envelope as an artist, you feel me? I feel that, yeah. Well, duh. yeah so with me, mine's evolved, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I'm I'm getting more to talk about. You know what I'm saying? At first I was just on one thing, you know what I'm saying? And that was just straight drill shit, you know what I'm saying? Ready to kill a motherfucker, got dumb, you know what I'm saying? I, I had so much hurt in me, you know what I'm saying? Cause my little cousin had died, what, 2021? And got them, I was just hurting off that shit, you know what I'm saying? So all I rap about is straight goddamn violence, you know what I'm saying? But over the years, you know what I'm saying? I started really listening to it. I'm like, damn, all this shit keeps sounding the same, but I gotta switch it up, you know what I'm saying? So I just started switching it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I just noticed, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's more attention now, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah. I'm evolving for sure, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially from way back then. I, I just be listening to some of my old shit. I, I be like, I don't even want to listen to that shit no more. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, my old shit. I be like, man, that shit trash. Somebody else might be like, bro, you don't remember that song? I be like, bro, I don't even want to hear that, bro. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm dead at like, man. bro, turn that off, bro. I don't want to hear that, bro. Like, I just don't want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, when I'm you saying? know you've gotten so yo, much better, like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. hard to go back and listen. <laughs> and my thing, I'm my, telling you, man. <laughs> my voice changed too, like <laughs> over the time from me starting to make music to now, like. Just my voice as an artist don't even sound the same. So like now I hear I hear like some shit from like 2021, 2022. I'll be like, shit sound like I'm rapping through my nose, like on some high pitch, like real nasally shit. I'm like, man, what the fuck is that? Like, <laughs> that shit don't sound like nothing. Like, I'm like, man, hell no. Nah. I'm glad I figured that shit out. Huh. I got you. So me versus me, bug. Yeah. Talk about this project. What should we expect? Like, what type of vibes you coming with on this one, man? Man, this this my baby right here. Like, this the first one, so. You know, uh, I took my time with it. Um, from the day that I signed, we start working on it like out the gate. Like we hit the ground running with this one. So um, we got a we got great production on there. Um, a lot of different vibes. It's not really like a. I don't really have like a sound that I stick to on this. Like you got the R and B vibes. You know, I like I like making music for women. You know what I'm saying? So I like doing that. You know, so we got some of that on there. We got some you know what I'm saying some hard shit, some trap shit. 
We got some Detroit shit, because you know they right up the road, so a lot of their influence come down to the city. So we got some Detroit shit on there, you feel me? We got some, the intro is the hardest shit out to me on the, mm-hmm. on the, on the whole project. Like, I, that was the moment, like, when I got done with that, like, I listened back to that motherfucker in the car and just on, like, speakers and shit like that. And just hearing myself rap on that motherfucker, like, I got goosebumps down there. Like, I felt like it was, like, a whole different person rapping on that bitch. So, like, the intro hard, you know what I'm saying? I got some some heartfelt shit. Um, and we got some introspective shit. Like, you know, we got a song on there. Um, but, like, I kind of let people into my world because, like, I feel like uh, while I do make great music and I have my whole career, my one thing that I haven't really done yet is, like, let people in, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just my personality. Like, I don't really tell people too much of my, my personal business or, you know what I'm saying? People don't really give a fuck. So, like, having that breakthrough, like, as an artist, like, being able to talk that shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Talk about my past, talk about, like, you know, family problems and stuff like that, family situations. Like, you know, that was, like, a big breakthrough record for me, personally. And I think that's, like, that's probably one of my favorite ones on the album. But, yeah, now that motherfucker coming sooner than soon, you know what I'm saying? That bitch gonna change. We shaking the ground with that one, you know what I'm saying? We shaking the room for sure. Like, that's one of them. Me versus me. And why me versus me? Explain that title, why you chose that one. Because that's how I feel, really. Like, that's how I feel, really. I don't feel like I'm in competition with nobody from my city. I don't feel like I'm in competition with other artists that sign. I'm not trying to catch up to nobody because I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Personally, like, once I get that opportunity to, you know what I'm saying, get on that mainstream level, it ain't too many people that's fucking with me. Like, on some, like, the most humble shit, I, the humble way, most humble way I can say that. Like, I don't think too many people can go in the studio and make an R&B song, and then the very next song, they get on some shit that they gonna play in the club, and girls gonna shake ass too, you know what I'm saying? And the next song, they gonna make some shit that's like, for the streets, you know what I'm saying? Or the next song, you know, it's like, I just got so much different shit that I can do as an artist. Like, I don't know too many people. You know, Jen one of them, like, he one of them. So, like, we recognize that when we in the studio yeah. with each other, but, other than that, bro, I don't know too many people that just get in there doing any and everything, and that shit sound hard every single time. So I don't feel like I got no competition with this shit. Like, so that kind of influenced the, the the album title, just like, but it's me versus me. Like, I'm my own competition. Like, I'm my biggest enemy. I'm my biggest supporter. I'm my, you know what I'm saying? It's all me. Like, so, and at the end of the day, like, me as an artist, like, I'm looking in the mirror. You feel me? So. When I make my music, you feel me? Like, I don't really expect nobody else to give me no no feedback or nothing like that that I haven't already gave myself. So, you know, that's kind of, that's that's the whole totality of it. Just like everything is centered around becoming the best version of myself as an artist, as a person, like everything like that. So, yeah. I feel that, I can't wait to check that shit out, man. Yeah, man, yeah. that shit gonna change everything, for real. Yeah. All right, so talk to us about this new single, Swerve On Them, that you just put out recently, okay. too. Yeah, Swerve On Them, man. Uh, so, okay, coming up, man, all I listen to is Boots and Whip, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? My boy who make my beats, 2037, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to 2037, you know what I'm saying, on the beat, you know what I'm saying? Um, I told him, I say, um, I want you to go listen to that Swerve beat by Boots and Whip, you know what I'm saying? And I want you to remake it, you know what I'm saying? So, he did it in like 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying? He emailed it to me. I say about the next night or the next day or something like that. I don't know. It, it was late though. I think I went in the studio real late, about three o'clock in the morning or something. And I was like, at first I thought it was gonna be some bullshit, but then I was like, man, hold on, man, that motherfucker got done. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker rocking right there. So it just went from there, and I was just like, damn. So I just played it, and I got them started sharing it on my Instagram, and shit, they liked it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just keeps saying that they like it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people been on it. So yeah, that right there. Nah, that shit right. hard, man. I appreciate I it, man. That shit, man. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate that, man. For real, though, man. For real. So the new project you're working on, like, what type of vibes is that? Is it gonna be more towards the street side, or? Um, it's gonna be in between streets okay. and you know what I'm saying, like, um, a little pain, a little bit of pain, you know what I'm saying, but mostly the street shit, though, yo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there any artists you guys want to work with in the future? Um, shit, we already we already got some shit, so. That's 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 one we can check out. Or I can check out. Like, um, come on, give it. Wait, 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 what you mean? Who you got? <laughs> Can't just skip over that. What you mean? Oh no, we got some shit. We got about what? Three, four, three, four songs done. Almost five. Yeah. So yeah, we got almost five songs. Yeah, we got okay. five. Oh, we got some shit in, in motion though. Yeah. For, for we gonna we gonna we gonna put some shit together one day too yeah. for that. Like, that motherfucker gonna be harder than hard. Like, yeah. That yeah. shit gonna be shit. <laughs> like, that's it, bro. But uh, other artists like, if I was to say like a mainstream artist. 
I like uh I like a lot of the Detroit shit, so uh probably like, you know, face, um, Skilla, uh V's, uh it's an LA artist named Blast. Hmm. Um he got like this melodic sound, I really fuck with that shit, so um him. I mean other than that really but anybody that wanna work with me if that shit makes sense, if that shit sound good, like I'm not really one of them people that just want to hop on some shit and just do some shit just because, you know, somebody got a name or something like that. Yeah. Shit got to sound good because, you know, it's all about the quality with me. Like, I'm not just trying to make no songs just to, like, you know, the money, everything. I mean, not everything, but, like, that's important. But it's, like, the quality of the art. Like, I really care about my music. Like, it come from a soulful place, you feel me? Like, it means something to me. So everything got to kind of make sense from a from a sonic sound point. Like, like not really just like, oh yeah, you hot, like, let me hop on the song with him yeah. just so I can get some buzz or let's so I can get some, you know what I'm saying, so I can go up higher. Like, I ain't worried about that shit because eventually I'm gonna catch him anyway, so. But yeah, anybody who wanna work with me for real, like, I'm, you know, I'm fucking with it. Simple man. I feel that. About you too? All right, shit, mainstream, you know what I'm saying? Shit, my favorite artist, Money Man, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's the main person I wanna work with, though, is Money Man. Also, uh, one of his artists, uh, Juni Knox, BC Juni Knox. Okay, yeah, shout out to Juni. Yeah, Juni a fool, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see. I say Boss Man D Lo. You know okay. what I'm saying? I He's kind of crazy. Right on that shit. Uh, Golden Boy Count Up. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Golden Boy Count Up. You talking that shit too? Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. No, most of that, for real, for real. Um, uh, Drago Bino. You know what I'm okay. saying? They from Detroit. I fuck with them Detroit yeah. niggas up there too. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit, man. A, a lot of artists. Fredo Bang. For sure, though. Fredo Bang. Shout out Fredo, Fredo Bang. Crazy. For real, though. So, uh, that's about it, right there, though. So, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And what's some advice you guys would share to some, you know, upcoming artists? How to get their foot in the door, man? Upcoming advice for an upcoming artists, or advice for an upcoming artists? I probably say like, first and foremost, believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what happens, no matter what you know don't happen, always believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Feel like you're the biggest and the best artist in the world, like at all times. Cause if you don't feel like that, you gonna start sending your shit and playing your shit for people. They not gonna believe that shit either. And even when you like present it to somebody, just how you kind of present yourself, your confidence come off of you, you know what I'm saying? That shit in you, not on you. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You can kind of tell easily like, if somebody really got that shit, like you feel me? So and I feel like if you got that shit, then you'll be all right, just keep going. Like, you know what I'm saying? Keep your head down, keep working. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. Okay. Me, I tell her, every artist, like somebody told me, <clears throat> keep working, don't stop. You know what I'm saying? Don't get discouraged. I mean, at times you're gonna get discouraged, but keep going, you know what I'm saying? Put it in their face, you know what I'm saying? You can't just make something one time and then don't push it, you know what I'm saying? And expect, oh yeah, that's on hard, but they only heard it one time, you know what I'm saying? If you don't share it and keep sharing, you gotta keep sharing, man. You gotta mm -hmm. keep posting, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep it hot, you know what I'm saying? You gotta make them listen to it, you know what I'm saying? Cause it might be a trash ass song, but shit, a lot of these songs out here trash ass, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they saying? got a big budget exactly. behind them where you that's, keep seeing that Exactly, that and invest in yourself, man. You gotta invest in yourself, man, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's the only way you're gonna get to the next level, man. You can't just be expecting no handouts, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put that work in, man. Like for it ain't for the week, man. This shit ain't for the week. For real. So for if sure. if it's not what you if it's what you wanna do, you gotta stick with it every day like a job. You know what I'm saying? You can't just, oh, I'm a I feel like I don't feel like rapping goddamn for about two months. Hell no. You gotta keep going, man. Fuck you mean you don't feel like rapping no more. Hell no, bro. I need I need songs out of songs, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep going. So don't stop. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Invest in yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna see it. You never know who watching. You know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody always watching. So just keep pushing. For sure, man. Yeah. Uh, what's some goals and what's next for Major Money Entertainment then? Yeah. Trying to just go the biggest that we can possibly go. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if we talking short term goals, you know, um, for the label, you know, I can let Troy speak on that. But I know for me personally, like, I want a Grammy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want a Grammy. I want, I want plaques, you know what I'm saying? I want, I want the, I want to see the, the, you know, the fruits of my labor, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, everything is right there, and we putting the work in right now. So, you know, eventually, you know, the bridge has got to connect. So, you know, once that happens, I, I just want to see like the fruits of my labor, you know, come to fruition. And, 
you know what I'm saying, start feeling, like seeing that success and that, that money that, that, you know, like I said, the Plex, the, the award, all that stuff like that. Like, for me personally, like, we trying to create generational wealth with this shit. Like, this ain't no quick come up, you know what I'm saying, and get out the door and go find some other shit to do. Like, this shit, this my life, you feel me? So, you know, that's, that's, that's what I'm looking forward to, like, in the future. As far as goals go. Yeah. You already know the goal, you know what I'm saying? Make it big, man, you know what I'm saying? Not just me, you know what I'm saying? The label, period, you know what I'm saying? For the yeah. world, you know what I'm saying? I want to see this shit on Billboard, you know what I'm saying? This this logo, you know what I'm saying? That shit means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Major money, just listen to the name, you know what I'm saying? It, it catch eyes, you know what I'm saying? We walking through the mall, everybody we walk past, what they saying, major money, you know what I'm saying? Then back of the name, got the name on the back, so they, you know what I'm saying? They getting their phones out, they following, you know what I'm saying? Look like something. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to see it, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to just keep applying pressure, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and get what we need to be, man, you know what I'm saying? That's the main thing, though, for real. Get you know, up on the main platforms and shit. Yeah. There you, go. you guys got any shout-outs you'd like to get before we wrap it up? My daughter, Kamani. Um, my brother, you know what I'm saying? All my partners back home, you know what I'm saying? Other than that shit, my mama. You know what I'm saying? She she been a big supporter from day one. Like most people, like I, I didn't heard stories like you know they, they don't play their music around their mama. Like my mama be playing my <laughs> shit for other people. Like you my know what I'm saying? Too, my mama she a she a she a don't she a church me. lady. You know what I'm saying? Like a church woman. So for real. she playing it. You know, sharing it to the people in the church and stuff like that. I ain't even know they got down like that. But you know what I'm saying? They was rocking with it too. So you know, it's all love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so like you know yeah. Shout out to moms, you know what I'm saying, my baby, my partners, my brother, you know what I'm saying, everybody, you know, that's locked, locked in with me, supporting, you know, everybody that's going to support, you know what I'm saying, we love y'all, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, we're going to take this bitch to the top, for sure. Yeah, yeah, man, I want to shout out my family, my friends, you know what I'm saying, everybody who, who rocking with me, you know what I'm saying, especially the ones who here right now, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying, even the ones who supposed to come that couldn't make it, you know what I'm saying, I shout them out, you know what I'm saying, um, Shit, man, I just, I just shout out anybody that support you know what I'm saying? That's the main thing about it, you know what I'm saying? But mostly my family, my kids, you know what I'm saying? And the man up above, for so, sure, you know what I'm saying? Forever, forever, <laughs> forever. I'll be real. This is with Big Jen, I may want to call you in this look up. Hey, I grabbed this chopper, cut the fuck up. I ain't playing no games with the industry, that 